So in my recent video, I talked about the public beta version of iOS 18. And in this video, we want to talk about this one, iPad OS 18. Let's go. What's up guys, Jason Smash Pop here. So as you know, the public beta version of the iPad OS 18 is already out, okay? But just in case you don't want to install it on your own or you're curious whether it's for you or not, I have done all the testing and let me show you all the new features now. Let's talk about the first feature, lock screen customization on the iPad. To do that, just press and hold and then tap on customize. If you're on landscape mode, other than customizing the clock on top, we can also customize by adding a panel of widgets on the side. So when you want to add widgets, you just need to tap on add widgets and you will get the option to pick everything from the list, okay? So once you're done, tap on done and you will be able to see the panel of widgets right on your lock screen. My home screen is now dark. Why is that? Because with the new iPad OS 18, we can customize it and turn all the icons into dark, okay? To do that, press and hold your home screen, tap on edit and tap on customize and we will have the option at the bottom of the screen and we can choose whether we want it to be dark, we want it to be light, we want to have the icons in small size or we want to have it in large size but when it's large, it will remove all the names below the app, okay? So decide whether you want names or not. There's also an option called Tinted and this Tinted will actually tint all your apps with the same color, okay? And you can drag this bar to pick the color you want or you can use the color picker and pick the color on your wallpaper to match and then you will have the perfect looking home screen. There's more to home screen customization, okay? After you're done with the tinting and color and stuff, the icons now, you can drag it anywhere you want. So we don't have to put all the icons at the top anymore. Just place it anywhere you want to match your wallpaper. Third big thing, okay, that I want to say is you can customize your control center. Now your control center is not just one page, but it has multiple page for your music, for your media, for your home, and your connectivity. Now, in order to access all this, right, you can just swipe your finger from the top and then continue from there and you will be able to move from one page to another, okay? Very simple. And if you want to customize, just press the plus button at the top and you will see all the widgets become like, you know, with this border and you can actually drag this border to resize it to make it smaller or you want to drag it to make it bigger also can. You can also tap on add a control and from this controls gallery, you can add in any controls you want into the control center to your liking, okay? Okay, the biggest announcement for iPad OS 18 definitely was this thing calculator right on first glance you will see that it looks normal but when you tap on the bottom left button you get to access scientific calculator math notes as well so math notes is basically like notes but you will be able to calculate your calculations for example if i do this equation here and when i add the equal sign it will calculate and tell me the answer it will also be able to do equations and create graphs like this so apart from math notes, when you tap on the bottom left button, we can also enable convert and that also means calculator is now a converter. So we can actually type in say currency and it will convert to us based on the latest currency online, okay? And we can also convert units as well, for example, uh, kilogram to grams, meter to centimeter and so on. Speaking of calculation, if you open notes, you can also calculate there whether you want to type the calculation or you want to write using your Apple Pencil or Apple Pencil Pro, okay? But what I love about Notes is the upgrade to handwriting recognition. Instead of using Scribble, whereby it will turn your handwriting into text, now it will actually use AI to fix your handwriting to make it more legible and nicer, but still maintain your own handwriting styles. The Photos app has also been upgraded just like iOS 18, okay? So when you open it, you get to see first half, whereby you get to see all your thumbnail photos. And when you swipe down, you will get to see all these little boxes 
whereby you can see your recent days, you can see uh, photos based on people, based on pets, or even based on your pin collections. So for example, if you want to create a new collection called Favorites, you can. You can also access your memories. So memories are basically uh, events and also trips that you have taken before this, okay? So what they're trying to do is trying to resurface all these memories to show you so you don't forget that you actually have these photos, okay? And if you pull down, you can also swipe to the right to see other customized uh, panels or highlights that you can add in by yourself. Now the next big thing, okay, this one I think we can only show on iPad OS 18 because it's like made for that, okay? So FaceTime, when you do a FaceTime call, you can also get your friends or your family to share their screen. Like for example, what I'm doing here, I am actually looking at my friend's iPhone screen on my iPad screen, okay? And the nice thing is you can scribble or you can teach them where to put your apps or where to select on settings and stuff like that. I think this feature is really good if you uh, you have like elderly at home and they don't know how to use their iPhone or their iPad. You can ask them to, you know, share their screen and you can tell them exactly what to do from your iPad. If you are a user of Apple TV or Apple TV Plus, there's also a new feature that you can try, okay? Now, when you're watching a movie or a show, you can actually tap on the button called Insights at the bottom. And when you tap on that, it will list out all the people that is appearing in the video now and you can tap on their faces to look at all the videos or all movies that they have participated in. Okay, one more thing. Hidden apps or locked apps, okay? Now on iPad OS 18, you can actually access this hidden apps folder from your app library, but of course that one, you require Face ID or Touch ID to unlock, okay? And to put apps into this hidden folder, all you need to do is press and hold on one app and then tap on Requires Touch ID or Face ID. And then you can also have the option to hide it or just lock it. So if you want to install the public beta version, very easy. You can follow the link in the description below. Basically, you just go there, enroll your iPad, and then install the profile. Or if you are using the latest iOS, you don't even need to install the profile. You just enable beta version on your general settings, and then you will be able to see the new update, okay? But just to let you know, this is beta version, means it's not finalized. There are still a lot of bugs, okay? If you have a secondary device, maybe install your public beta version on your secondary device and not your main device. Okay, that's all. I've also done a video on iOS 18. You can also check it out. And uh, if you love gadget videos like this, don't forget to share this video with your friends. Subscribe to this channel and follow me on all social platforms. My name is Smashbox and I'll see you in the next video. Yo!